Hello everyone and welcome to Hive Sidecast again. My name is Arclight and tonight we have second match between Daedal and Duck Black. I named the teams right for first time. We got cross pawns with Daedal spawning south and sub axis and Duplex and North in Atrium. So you wonder about my slowness. No, I did not take the slow pill. The time didn't stop or anything. It's just getting pretty much late here and I have to be a bit quiet and a bit slower for it. I can't put that enthusiasm into the game. But I'm gonna keep my best. I'm gonna keep my speed up and I'm gonna... Well, I did not take speed anyway. So only drugs... Uh, only drugs I can take is war and the stew. Because, you know guys... Drugs are for pugs, and I'm not a pug, so that's pretty much it. Oh, that RT is gonna go down and stat. No way they make it in time. And that ghost RT. And that ghost RT. Oh. They should do a base rush. To show them who's the boss. So what are the things now? It's decent. Both teams got like 50 average. Although Daedal's got a bit lower on few players. Oh, that sneaky drifter. And the fast crossroads. Well, I think it's not relocate, Ryan. As you stated, I think it's gonna be uh, it's damage. just gonna be there. Nice support by Commander. <laughs> there goes the command chair. I don't think they'll be able to save it in time. Security knows there's a kill underneath him, but can't shoot through the grates. It's a game feature, it's not a bug, so... In this game, bullets do not go through the metal plates in the, in the floor. So we got three marines coming right now. And we got Drifter relocating to hide. And Cross is being redropped. We got a ballsy marine sitting on six RTs and no skulks harassing whatsoever. They did not even get the cross one. Yeah, Cr crossroads is relocation. So this is gonna be it. Let's see how it goes. They don't even need to resell this. They can just keep it there. In case it goes down, they can always have that one. And Marines are sitting at Cozy 6 rest now. Look at this. In 25 minutes, Duplex got only like 650 rest. Three and a half minutes into the game, Deedle is sitting at Cozy 200 rest in total. Duplex went for a quick shift high with Celerity. Under and arms lab and arms being dropped in the back. Let's see how it goes. Arms gonna be finished in a sec. Man, I haven't seen a game that's relocating to cross so fast. And the drifter gets spotted. Nobody's reacting to it. Poor drifter. We do have aliens going for fast Command data core, so attack. shotguns are started, 43 rest for marines. So I bet we're gonna see fast weapons one. Our infantry porter recycled here. So, our oh, marine pressuring the harvester and reactor core. We got no crevice from aliens. Trying to kill that cyst. I think it's a good choice. 
armor one started, so that survivability is going to be much bigger for marines. This is being redropped to reconnect the chain, and that's what's happening. Marines started to lose their RTs, they lost the ventilation one and they lost the data core one. But aliens being ballsy dropping the RT there. Marines have to presume there's an RT there because of the cis chain. I wouldn't be surprised I'm going for data core now. We got a pipe with shotgun. And four skulks. Oh no. Ooh. Last second save. That drifter needs to stay alive. Ah, uh, Swalk, you're spamming that enzyme too much. Oh, look at that. Over oh, the crate. Man, it's like a movie scene. I think we want the uh, main base RT getting killed. Advanced armor is completed, so we could see some GL rushes. Phase tech is done. Nope. Alien saying nope. Well, Kurji defending the data core easily. And we could start to get some map lockdowns. Let's see how it goes. Aliens even dropping cysts all the way to flight control. So they want to be ballsy with all those RTs. This chain is cut right in data core, so I think the commander is going to notice and redrop it. It's not going to be much of a deal. Yeah, there we go. Dropping the RT. Going to be dropping the crevice one soon, I presume. Oh, the main base RT getting assaulted again. How did Jones die even there? Now that's a weird one. Main base RT never got healed up, so it's gonna die a horrible death now. Yeah, getting the LMG Marine should really help versus that. Because... And there we go. Assists cleared out in data. Scan being dropped by Marine Commander. They got a plenty of rest to do that, and jetpacks are started. So we're gonna see some quick, quick game end right there. Last walk drops some of the uh, hydras. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Oh, Swalk, that's not gonna help you one bit. There's not enough them clogs. Nice mine. Oh, nice spit by Swalk. Around Swalk. Marines do need to clear this out. Oh, almost stepping on the drifter right there. A very good drifter positioning. We got a lurk. Oh my god, just one more bullet like that. And that says goes down.
so jetpacks are out of the bag. Data core is being dropped. And the alert goes down. If the data core hive goes down, it's scanned. Oh, I like this shift being placed so there are eggs around the RT. Even, even though everyone costs one, if they die, they can. Oh no, Jones. He just didn't do that. And the shift is out. There's still more than enough eggs inside to spawn. We see one spawning there and dying immediately. So this is pretty much GG. Marines got GLs up. They got a level 2 armor. Swag died as a commander. Didn't manage to place those hydras in time. There is one hydra, but it's not gonna do much. Especially versus the GL and everything else. How do you like the GL sound? And the hive goes down. And again, I think Kinsey is trying to tell me that the data core hive got destroyed. So I hope you guys also notice the hive is down. And we got straight on rush. Duplex GGing out, and it's. Hope you guys liked it and see you next round.